Hello everyone, this is the Banner Lord official release 1.0 patch notes. I think this will be clean 1.9 beta. So as we can see here, we've been waiting on Steam for the official updates as of right now. It's recording at 3 in the morning. Uh, it is live. You can download that. I'm just verifying my files. Uh, for those who are installing, make sure you go to properties. Make sure you get off the beta and select none. Let's get right to the patch notes. So we're talking about uh, the plans and the release plans. You can check this out yourself in the development videos. The 1.0.0 latest changes, let's take a look. Single player. Crashes. Fix a crash during the Unified Empire quest. Uh, crash starting a siege. Crash uh, party created. Story mode character was healed. It was actually a really nice fix. Attacking a siege camp. Allied army took a settlement with the player during a lord that more quests occurred after a battle, taking a talking to a villager party. Fix a buzz that caused the removal of player banner item. Fix a bug that caused player companion parties to roam. Changes. Introduce voiceover content for the main storyline and greeting dialogues in the future. I'll call it all the unique voices. Slowly decrease loot amount gain during early game. Increase loot rarity. During mid to late game, decrease positive modifiers, price multipliers. For multiplayer, we have fixes, improved lobby server performance, changes, add ping column, disabled family sharing, or reset all of the rankings, disabled early access badges. Uh, for both, we did add the following Steam related features 8 emoticons, 6 profile backgrounds, 6 trading cards, a level 5 badge, 1 foil badge, added 50 achievements. For modding, they added uh, multiple, multiple, oh my god, multiplayer maps or the multiplayer scene for modders. And for those who were skipping the 1.90.0 video, or with the previous beta hot fixes that are also included in this official release, a bunch of crash fixes when starting a new game, deleting an old save, helping a party raid a village, merchant needs help quest, and party try to encounter an ongoing siege. Also, Fixes, uh, assign a quick new scene for Omar Town, prevent AI marriages, disorganized state, craft to item properly soldiers, crafting scene to misbehave incorrectly. For initial beta, so 1.0.0 beta, did once again fix a bunch of crashes, increased campaign map performance, fix memory leaks and bugs. Localization added some minor language changes. Uh, for art, they added 6 new battle terrains, 10 new towns, 2 new empire castle scenes, 2 new hideout scenes, 19 different cloth plus fur pieces, a bunch of fixes. And with campaign maps. Improved overall campaign map visual balance and visuals. For UI, they added 2 new cinematic in outros, visual representation of the disorganized state, enabled right click on the encyclopedia, added new managed troops, improved NPC feedback, added encyclopedia tutorials, Change cutscene notification text and merge the encountering a settlement under siege and encountering a besieged party menus into one. With that for UI, added a bunch of fixes for UI. Regarding battles and sieges is what everyone's waiting for. Added banners and bannered features. AI nobles can use tier one, clan leaders tier two, faction leaders tier three. Player character can and the player characters and members can use all tiers. I believe you can obtain banners from as rewards from in-game tasks from defeating enemy nobles, clearing hideouts, or reaching certain campaign milestones. So banner bears, as you can see, I'm not gonna go read this, but as you can see what it does, uh, they added a bunch of uh, a bunch of fixes and bugs related to battles and sieges. Character development uh, systems changed your artisan smith perk to Party leader, reduce efficiency campaign secondary perk to 50%, Master Warcraft primary perk nerfed by 15%, increased price of royalty skill limit to 250 and two bug fixes. Clan and party food rarity, more all penalty no longer applies if the party is starving. Increase the base prisoner amount for dungeons, encyclopedia log for destroyed clans, and a bunch of bug fixes. Armies, kingdoms now count rebellions as a threat. Diplomacy, luck for the decisions affecting player in the United Kingdom, and bug fix. For economy and trade, he added two new horses, one neutral and seven 
So two dudes to stumpers, one neutral and seven more horses. Added a noble mount category. Updated mount and war mounts. As you can see, the rest here changes and bug fixes. Crafting just a single bug fix. Our settlement action on village castle and hideouts. Placed old tavern mercenaries with three mercenary types, western mercenaries, eastern mercenaries, and sword sisters. Increased the mercenary daily wages by 50 so they're going to be a little more expensive, especially if you don't have that perk. Bunch of bug fixes. Uh, quests. Revise, revise the main storyline. Quest conversations and logs. And a bunch of fixes. Conversation encounters. Once again, updated conditions such as the map event and bug fixes. Other. Luda no longer uses the blacksmith hammer. And just a bunch of minor changes here. Multiplayer, I'm not going to go over that. But you can look at it here. For both, for both multiplayer and single player, they fixed a crash, adjusted art and horses now generate correct dust when traversing on grass terrain, UI changes, fixes, a performance improvements for both single player and multiplayer, added idle animations, combat overall AI movement system, range of physics adjustments, better situational understanding, and manners, basically making Siege AI not terrible. And for other, just reduce patch size of future patches. And for the modding community, a bunch of modding changes, especially for 1.0, 1.9.0, and nothing has and multiplayer change. Other than that, download this right now as of 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So stay tuned and enjoy, and get playing.